So you want to get your coins up. What else are you going to do? Wish? No, you can't just keep wishing. It doesn't do anything. It's not even helpful. you got to be logical about this. I mean, like, are you really in it? Or are you not? Talk about the third step of how to really, like, get your crypto up. So, like, you need to get one of these devices. Regardless of what you think, you need to get one of these devices. You know, what else are you going to do? You're going to just, like, mine at a 12 multiple disadvantage? You can't. This is the only way you could really even want to get into crypto through this method. But personally, how I think about it is, like, it's a small investment. Um, you know, some people want to invest in the pegged price of an asset. Others want to invest in the creation and circulation of that asset and that's what this is which is uh, an indirect way of purchasing it like I pay 12 bucks for this but it all depends on how much time I have put and allocated towards mining so like you know got uh, this phone pretty much always mining always mining unless I'm on the go I turn that on I just I just leave it here you know um, I found it that every night I usually mine about like 300 to 400 coins just by leaving it plugged in and on um, which honestly if I'm looking to invest in a crypto what I'm gonna buy Bitcoin at like 13,000 right now and wait for it to dip no you know this is kind of a different way to get into the whole crypto universe without actually putting a whole bunch of money at anything other than small incremental investments which is kind of what I'm cool with it's like incremental investments like for me I purchased the the, the coin plus plan and um, I felt like okay it's like 13 bucks a month that's that's what I'm investing in cryptocurrency let's see the last step to get the most coins you either want to get on a bicycle and get outside go for some walks or get on a longboard if you know how to actually ride if you don't know how to ride just get on a bicycle if you don't know how to ride a bicycle just go for a walk um, and some of it being good for you, you will get more coins for moving like that. So that's the three tips that I could probably give you to getting 10,000 coins as fast as possible. Covered in these steps. One, you want to get one of these Sentinels. Two, you want to get a, a premium plan with the coin app. And then three, you want to you want to be mobile. You want to not use a car. You want to be on a bicycle, um, be on a longboard. I don't know. Get on a scooter. Those are pretty good. You know, 80 miles per gallon, um, one fill. I honestly would and am going to be looking into one of those things for this because this is probably that's probably the best uh, ROI I could like really find. Uh, or think about at the moment. So I hope those tips were helpful and handy. Um, Let's move on to the next video. Which is going to go over all the accounts you are going to need on various exchanges to cash out your XYO into either Bitcoin or cash. If the video was helpful or informative, please give it a like or a thumbs down if you hated it. And subscribe to the channel. There are, uh, there are going to be a number of links in the description to uh, not only the coin app but more information about XYO. Um, the whole Reddit uh, community, as well as um, <laughs> all that other good stuff that's in there. This, this is a fluky video thing.